What's up guys, it's Brent back here, and we're going back to some more to Lady of the Spire, Library of Runa. Uh, so, let's go in here and look here. Last time we did the Ironclad, we're playing with Lobotomy, and we're trying out some new stuff. I want to jump right in here. Got some tips on this. We're going to the Exordium. We're going to see what we can do here. Uh, we're going to grab that bucket. We got 304. And I was told you can right click the cards to see what they do. That's what we want to play with. Um, I don't know how aggressive I want to get. Kind of got our butt kicked last time. So, but I think I still want to go for the elites. I feel like the addition of the cards do help you fight elites. I want to see how we do here. Um, ugh, do I commit one more? Yeah, let's commit. I meant to commit another strike, but it's fine. It technically is the same outcome. I just didn't get him dead like I want. Um, neutralize you, you're dead with the strike. Five right here. Oh, and we get to defend. Try to get my music safe. I mean, my music volume correct. I said safe, I don't know. Oh, let's click. Green's coming back. I still haven't figured out how to lock. I technically could lock the gameplay footage to OBS instead of just a screen capture, but it does not work as well um, in a lot of applications, so still prefer the window capture. I just don't know why it like, I guess it's because I'm clicking a different screen and it confuses it for a second. Who knows? All right, let's get the reward. Okay. Now if I right click. Okay. So you can't do it here, it is locked. Oh, you hit the unlock and it took 20. So this is gain eight block. Okay. When you right click. Okay, so when I click to like view it, it just tells me. And I guess I can unlock it again here. Gain eight block at the start of combat game one artifacting. And it is for one. Weird. And you can continue gaining the like the buffs. Okay. So we have fragment of the universe. Interesting. We're still gonna be playing with it, but I don't mind that one one bit. Um, we gotta figure out what build. We gotta block card off of that. Do we wanna go discard this time? I haven't done that in a bit. Let's go with the reflex here. It's one of the best ones to start off with. And we already have, yeah, the survivor to take advantage of it. I'm okay with that. Go ahead and hit you a bunch of times. Uh, we can do one. Oh, we're out of energy. I was like, we can do one more. Let's keep hitting them. Uh, but I hope everyone's doing good. It is actually Sunday for me. Um, and the video comes out on Sunday. I may have not had a chance to uh, record yesterday. I actually got back into playing D&D. I uh, well got back into it in as uh, everyone's schedule has been too chaotic. We didn't. We never technically stopped, but we never uh, continued. If that was, if that's understood. Okay, so life only gives those who do not fear death. It's those who can't fall asleep without having a nightmare. So we click. So we unlock here. Oh, that one costs sixty. Little Red Riding Hood membership. At the start of each combat, draw an additional card. Win below 50% of your max HP. You deal 40% more damage. So this is like a power that you draw additional cards. And then the additional, when you're below 50% max, you deal 40% more damage. I mean, we're going to take it now because we know what it does. Yes, but you, it's weird that you got to click it. I still have to like click it to like view. Okay, and we're at 196. Uh, we want calculated gambles pretty good. Dex would also have been very good with footwork, but continue. All right. Oh, and it does. It's weird that this one costs X. I guess I have to unlock it again. Can I do that in combat? If I click, can I do this? It costs one. You, you do have to commit a pretty good amount of resources, and it does not. Um, it does not change the way it looks. Uh. Don't know how to play that. Okay, gain eight block. Gonna neutralize him. Let's survivor this away. Maybe it'll work next combat. I could have confused it by upgrading it mid combat. So that's something to keep in mind here. Oh, we're just gonna calculate it here. And then we should reflex and draw a bunch more cards. 
Not really the best hand, but we still need a big power attack card. I still can't play that. I might have to be below 50%, which kind of would stink. I mean, I guess that's the downside here. Okay. Continue hitting him here. Survivor out this card. I guess there's no reason to play Survivor. I should have just hit him again. And I will uh, regret doing that because he would have been dead. Mistakes were made, but we got it here. All right, reward. Uh, people are dying in the hands like me. Distance you hear seagulls. Okay. The red can drink has a distinctive aroma and sweetness can contain energy. Open can of wheelchairs. Okay. Hey, Kimmy. I'll do this again. Okay. So this one actually has no... It doesn't tell me what it does. Like, I've unlocked it fully. But I don't know still what it does, which is weird. Okay. Um, Cloak and Dagger is pretty good. Oh no, just discard one card. Side of hand. Make all in di uh, strikes and defense ethereal. Uh, I'd rather... I'm just going to disagree with the ghost for now. I don't really have a need for an apparition, I don't think. I'm going to play the wheel here with the goblin. Always want to click this other red thing, but it's not correct. Ah, uh, does damage. Ow. Right before the elites, too. The oh, it's only seven. I thought it was 20. Okay. Uh, we're going to sleight of hand the reflex. So we should, yep, draw two more. Right. Hit two. Uh, let's go for the neutralize on the middle one. Because he'll be the one I probably continue to neutralize as we go through here. Okay, I don't know what this does. So let's go ahead first. Fragment, Survivor, drop the defend. And then let's play this. Sleep. I fall asleep. I don't. Sleep wears off. Okay. I don't know what it does. I'm so confused. Maybe that was one I just shouldn't play. I'm gonna play it again now because we're dead. Um, yeah, we can't survive. Uh, but what was the point of this? That time I healed three for nothing. Um, I might... I will survive actually. That was nonsense. Okay. Um, drop two of these. Calculated. Red Riding Hood. I mean, I still can't. And I can't play this one either. I figured out. Yeah. Oh, now we're bleeding because of. I guess the card we couldn't play. Mm. <laughs> okay. Try this again. The first card made so much sense, and then the, the rest of them did not. Okay. We can hear it. Grab the bucket. Let's go. I think I'm going to try to take less cards and try to figure out... Pick one and carry it for a while. Um, we got Storyteller, and we got a good question mark bath to start off on. I like. Oh, clicked off again. Yeah, I'm just find the Cultist. Okay, let's get him weak and strike strike Not too bad. I always feel like the cultist is stronger, but even with like just your starting card you usually can take him out Fairly easily. I don't want to take any damage I'm gonna gain a little bit more strength, but yeah, I was hoping we'd be able to knock him out this turn All right, well, let's make this Make your own watch and all nope I fear death. Okay, we're gonna take this one. And then I'm going to click it. We're gonna unlock it. Heal one HP. Fine with that, for zero. Unlock it. If this card is in your hand, at the end of the turn, exhaust another random card in your hand. Add the healing value of this card by one. 
Oh, increase the healing value of Scarbon. Okay, I'm happy with that. Extra healing. That's fine. Footwork is good here. Another fight. So this is just one healing. So. Oh, and but it, it randomly picks what card you exhaust. Okay. Could be bad in certain situations, but the worst. Okay, the work. The lies. And with a strike. Making sure there's no other weird effects happening right now. So this should heal too. And I guess if you play it, it's not exhausting cards because it's not in your hand at the end of the combat. Okay. Um, I still want to do the discard build. Uh... Guys, I become the land. I mean, that was Hollow Pride of the Weather Knight. I'm gonna take this one. Uh, I'm not gonna unlock it yet, though. Oh, I should have done the other way. That's fine. Upgrade on neutralize, pretty good. Warp Tongs actually might have been better, though. Um, I was just acting before I was really thinking. For work. Um, Bloodbath will heal us for one. Let's go ahead and do that. And play this. Blessing of the Night. Okay. See? I played it. It doesn't seem to suck. So I can... It makes me more, like, incentivized to actually want to, um... Actually want to upgrade it, so... Pretty happy about that. Okay, the three coming in. Up this card. So this card has refund now. Strike, you strike. Okay. This is awesome. I really like it. I don't know what happened when you played again though. It says down, but I didn't really do anything. That's fine. These are my dreams. A month later we include. That's just thing as a beat. Okay, that's fine. Cause I want to get my, my bucket more full, so. I need to be doing that. Deal 11 damage to all enemies two times and lose one dex per enemy. Ugh. That's like a finisher. I don't really like that. I don't think I'm going to take any of the... Actually, give me a quick slash. After I thought about it, that seemed fine. 175 for doubt. I don't think I want... Okay, never mind, I'll take it. I end up taking it normally. Smith, I'm actually going to smith. Oh, you can't smith those cards. Got it, interesting. Uh, then we'll smith, smith footwork. I was thinking I could smith that knight card because it seems actually pretty good. Alright, bloodbath here. Actually, I'm just going to let it do its thing. Well, actually, I don't want it to exhaust some of these cards. Neutralize. Discard this. Oh, I, I did that in the wrong order. I could have got a lot more value out of that. What is on this? Uh. Uh, what are you doing to my card? Your hand. I think they're trying to another card. I feel like this is a bloodbath problem or the new card I have. Or is that showing- no, that's not even showing me that it's enraging him. Oh, there's the doubt. Gross. Okay. So... This- that's probably the beast one. The pride is a knight. Oh, that counts for that. Cool. Um, I'm actually going to adrenaline here. Okay. 27, my man. My man. Ugh. Oh, it just does nothing. Cool. <laughs> His strength is up. Ow. I took five from something else. Cool. 36 damage going in. I think if that's correct. Uh, we still die. I can block that much. I can heal for one, which is not worth it. Okay. Oh, we still have 20. Um, and this isn't bad. Defend Survivor. Defend. Sneaky Strike here. Quick Strike. 
strike the doubt really hurt that. We made him vulnerable. Okay. Ow. Okay, we have to kill him this turn. He's weakened. Um, get rid of the doubt. I can't kill him. So we're just walling up. But I think we might survive. Something got exhausted. All right, down to three. Ooh, okay. 12 and eight is 20. He is dead. Just barely. Oh, and these stay. Okay. That, that incentivizes me to like unlock more of them because they stay um, unlocked as you do it, which is nice. And none of these are exciting to me. I'll take heal hook, I guess. Oh, and we can rest here. Very good. Back up to 106 on the cards. Ceramic fish. Eh. It's okay, early game, I guess. Another card. Uh, actually, let's go for another rest. Just be a little bit healthy. We'll smith after this other elite fight. Okay. Hollowed Knight. There we go. Block for that. I cannot weaken them at all, so this and then we'll let bloodbath eat one of these cards i'm fine with that okay survivor first one of the strikes sneaky strike for 12 and we can actually we'll double down on this one go ahead and take the vulnerability but we, we still blocking so pretty happy with that neutralize quick slash defend for 10. that's a beast Okay, I don't know what that did. Exhausted a card. Alright, there's the doubt. Heal hook. Do a card. Knights down. That's fine. Okay. But the knight's still up. Alright. Dagger throw is pretty good. If there's any that I've seen. Oh wait, I'm taking the magical girl one. I think we had that one last time. That's pretty good. All right. Hmm. But work. Let's go ahead and get the knights. Knights calling, and let's go ahead and work through this doubt. Ooh. Let's look at the magical girl one before we commit to it. Just in case. Heal. Heal six. That's actually very good. Go ahead and do the next upgrade. If you play less than three cards in a single turn, increase this card by one. Card cost after playing it. Okay. I can't unlock the next part of it. Oh, we're down to 34. The better the card is, this deals six and we heal three. But if we play three cards in a single turn, Less than three cards in a single turn increases cost. Does that count if that's the first card we play? But if we do this, six and six, then we dagger throw here, drop this, play bud bath, and then we're gonna hit the strike. So we're out of weakness, the stun's over, but we still can continue. There's the knight card for one. Draw, hit, okay. 18 to start with is pretty bad, but I think we'll be okay. We got a secondary hit there, which was weird. Got the defend. And defend again, and we'll go with the basic strike. No reason to use the heal hook, because it's not that powerful yet. Uh, neutralize here. He is going to make us weaker. A lot I can do here. Ooh, we're, we're exhausting attacks, which is concerning. Uh, the knight we want to stay, so we can do a quick slash. Oh, these are all attacks. Not really what I wanted to see, but we made them vulnerable for some reason. Yeah, something's hitting us on like the backswing of the attacks. Uh, magical girl here. Heal this three this time. Block there. Um, we're not dead, but we're not doing great. Oh, yeah, we're taking like five damage on the end of the thing. Weird. Um, kill for one. We might be dead here from some other effect. No? Okay. That's a beast. 
Yes. Reviver, drop this one. I don't think I need this currently. And then we will double defend here. 31. Oh, I guess... Huh. Heal hook is blocked out for some reason. We're going to play that then. Heal hook. Survivor the doubt. 13, so we're still good. And this is a pretty good bit. The weakness is... Oh, no, we have the negative strength. That's what's really... Really, uh... Making it rough. Play the beast card. Sneaky strike. All right. Down to three. Um, can we kill him? Bloodbath here. Magical girl for more healing and to deal damage to him. What those cost? Oh, we need like a, oh neutralize there it was great. Thirteen. We are still dead. Guess I should have played the defend more than one attack. <sighs> but I guess we're unlocking cards, so is part of it. So let's go back. We'll do one more. Another quick one. Um, let's see. It looks like the full unlock stay. So it's really a grind to just gain to, to fill up your bucket. 154. Oh, question mark pass. Question marks. Okay, right, and alright, this is gonna be a good one. I can already I have a good feeling that I'm gonna start here. Slap, slap, slap. Also, I might try non-discard, because we've tried that both times, and they've not been the best uh, combinations for us. Three attacks. Two attacks and a survivor. That'll work. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay, and then we strike. Nothing we've seen before. When the black swan wakes from its dream, being a white swan. And surface during conversation. Let's take the swan one, I think. Uncontrollable. Triggers when drawn. Gain three thorns. Counter five. Interesting. I'm okay with that. Look at the next one. Whenever the counter is zero, add one Elijah to your draw pile. Okay. I'll try it. Uh, shows and draw two cards. Pretty good. Hello, shopkeep. Welcome, welcome. Oh. What works is pretty good. There's the works. Every turn, gain one energy. For every three cards you draw in this turn, gain one. And deal four damage to a random enemy. Eh, I don't think so. Apotheosis would have been really good, but... Unfortunately, we cannot get it. Hmm. It tends to attack Ethereal. It sounds like super interesting. Works is fun, but we have we do not have the engine for it. Let's take a sucker punch and then call it a day here. More weakness never hurt anyone. Alright. Neutralized and that. Okay, so you can't Yeah, it's unplayable in hand. Interesting. That's pretty good discard fodder at least. Three thorns for no reason is pretty good. I don't know what the Elijah is, so I need to see that to decide if the card's like gonna suck for us, but okay with the thorns. Or a strike, we'll play a defend and play a strike. Alright, and yeah, now we have six thorns. Pretty good. Alright. Uh, I guess I'm going to continue with the shivs. Uh, this one I do not like. This one didn't do nothing for me. Uh, Fragment of the Universe seemed cool. Eight block. Unlocked. Um, I think I want skills. I'll take the injury. Skills will now be upgraded. Uh, we're going to go 50-50 face. Bad face. The next non-boss checks you open. Sucks, but is a blade dance or shivs here. Okay, we're gonna go with more question marks. I could have went to the shop to remove the injury, but injury's not the worst one to deal with. All right, draw a bunch of cards. I think part of our like win scheme is to just draw into a bunch of thorns. 
like we're, we're going to get the Hexago, so it's going to be very good on them. Give strike. Wow, sister dead. Reward. I feel like we did this one, it was fine. Because we have to, the thing is to get more bucket, we have to have stuff in the bucket. We have to have these cards, so. I think it's pretty necessary. All right, face took our, mask took our chest. Second chest here, ninja scrolls. There we go. Now we just need a kunai or something to um, go with it right here. Um, I'll anger the mushrooms here. Hello, my friends. Big opening hand. All right. Attacking mushroom will be dead to start with. All right. Why did we have artifacting? That must be one of the cards we had. Now we're vulnerable. Okay. Maybe the Eat My Dream starts with artifacting? I have to remember, but still vulnerable here. So we will play the two defend. Not too bad here. Reverse. Sucker Punch. He's weakened again. He's going to take more damage. One attack should do it. There we go. Odd mushrooms, very good. Oh, not bad. Uh, I think you go with the leg sweep here. There's another one of you. I don't really like these ones. I'm gonna fill up the bucket. I'm. I think the goal and the way this should be done is you play the cards, upgrade all the cards in your hand to the max you can get them. I feel like that's the the real play you want to do. Um, because when they don't do anything or you don't know what they do, it doesn't really help to have them in, like, besides just having them in your deck and not playing them, kind of like I'm doing now, to gain more. Um, they don't assist you in that way. Oh, I, yeah, we'll play these anyway. I think I got them on a, enough of a clock. Oh, ugh. yeah, can play it here. There's Sucker Punch, there we go. Um, 15. I just want to take that. Yeah, I think I will. I think we have him dead tonight. Right next turn. Yep. There's two shivs. I wanted one more. Oh, this will do it. Go. Didn't mean to do that. I just kind of clicked. But I meant to click Akabeko. But it was in the wrong order than I expected. That's fine, though. Uh, Infinite Blades. Let's continue down the shiv path. Oh, it's the little gremlins. Oh, and then it turns into tears and start. All I can think of is the, the downfall grunts. So this is one of the like um, secret or the challenge things that you have to do. This one shouldn't be too bad. Oh, they deal 10 damage to me. I forgot. I forgot that fact of it. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Ouch. And feel very good. And they exhaust cards every time they hit you. That's what it is. You can't block forever. Let's weaken the backliner. We're going to continue hitting the frontliner. Exhaust. Exhaust. Still got the blade dance, but I need to draw into some defense. So here's eight defense. So we can kill this front one. Blows up. Yep. I don't know. I keep clicking off. Um, I don't know if they deal damage to me if they die on the spikes. We're about to find out. Oh, they were healed. Interesting. So I have to kill them. You can almost flex that in a weird way. Like I can wait till I can defend myself. Oh, they they did end up killing themselves. Okay. Let's add a card first. Uh, d never mind. That's bad. All right. Satisfaction is only temporary. Save us there from the truth. Just okay. So the first one of these is a relic. That's where we got Choo Choo Train of Death. Second one's a normal card reward. Bob and Queen. I am White Queen. Uh, I'm just going to skip those for now. So we have Mirror of Adjustment active. Shuffle all cards, all your cards into random piles 
If used more than once in combat, put two random cards. So you could shuffle your decks. Weird. Okay. We're gonna skip this one. Interesting. I don't know how that's gonna be useful, but we've seen it now, so it's interesting. Oh, we have Vigor from Akabeko. That's really good. I even think about how that like synergizes with what we're doing with uh like the super full hands of attacks. In blade, let's get another one. Sucker punch is great here. Okay. It'll take a nine, so we'll probably rest before the boss. Kinda wanna see where we can continue to go here. All right. And shiv and shiv. We need some payoff for the shiv currently, because that's what we're kind of lacking. Um liquid memories is better than languid. And he's never removed one of these. And we're going to get an upgraded hidden blade. It's good. Also, we're going to proceed here. Let's go ahead and upgrade some of our cards in our deck with our bucket. Um, so the swan one is good. Uh, let's unlock the last part of that. Current condition reduces the counter by one. Each condition can only reduce the counter once. All the conditions shown. This card is discarded manually. This card is in your hand at the end of turn. Exhaust five cards. Wait. Manually. At the end of turn. Exhaust five cards. So we need to discard it. If you have any debuffs at the end of your turn, lose three HP. So that's the full, full card. So pretty much, we want to counter by one. Each is going to reduce the counter once. The following shows the conditions. Um, so this is a condition. Do you want to discard it manually? And then in turn, exhaust five cards. Okay. If you have debuff, lose three. So that's not too bad, and that's the that's the full extent of it. And let's upgrade one of these ones we don't know anything about. Intangible one. That's pretty good. I unlock another part of it. Yep. When you play a card with ethereal, exhaust it. Interesting. Okay. I thought I think that's pretty. Yep. That's pretty much it. But there's some more cards. So, knowing that's intangibility actually is like super good. Um, let's go ahead and choke out the injury. Not bad. Not bad indeed. All right. So we really want to get through our deck really quickly before this dude can uh, do his big move because we want all those thorns. Shiv, shiv, shiv. I didn't mention. Um, I'm gonna shiv. I actually don't want to draw it this turn because I need to. Yeah, I need to be able to discard it. The swan song, so I don't exhaust five cards. Oh, okay. Hello, my friend. Get weak. We're good here. I'm actually just gonna hit you a couple times. Downside was we didn't have any thorns. Uh, we're going to keep the intangibility. Oh, this doesn't exhaust. That's even more crazy. More damage coming in. Let's do that. Get these shivs going. We really need some more payoff for the shivs, I feel like. I also still don't know what's... Okay, here's our first thorns. We really wanted to... Discard it. There we go. Do that discard the thorn card that keeps the conditions going all right it's gonna take some more damage boy dream don't really need to do that yet but like i was saying we need um some like thousand cuts a choke um what other good ones uh, kunai or shuriken um ornamental fan would be another good one Ragman, I actually don't need. I, I want to stack the weakness back up on him. If I can keep him weak the whole fight, it'd be much better for me. Yep, keep the weakness going. Shift 10 here. I don't really like that. Um, neutralize. I guess I'll play two defends. Give out. What's another one? Nunjaku would be another good payoff here. Um, a fragment here. That's good. Sucker punch. I still don't need a Void Dream yet, so that's pretty nice. 
All right, he's doing his attack. I wish I had more. I was looking for more thorns by this point. If I'm being honest. Okay, we'll do this. Draw some cards. That is not the thorns card. So, unfortunately, that's all we got. Can I... My discard? No, but I can leg sweep. I kind of want to get the perfect here if I can. So, we'll let, bring back leg sweep and play it again. Um, he is super weak forever, so... Hidden weakness is probably more than this fight. And that's why I really wanted the, uh... The thorns. There it is. Okay. I can't discard it this time, so it should... If I understand it right, which I'm not quite sure, it's going to exhaust five cards. Uh, maybe that's when it hits zero on the exhaust. Not quite sure. Alright, shift, shift. There's actually not a lot of reason to play Sucker Punch. I am going to take damage here, though. Unless I can kill them, of course. Which you can't. So, I'm actually going to just... Go for the damage. Take the 10. Okay, and we should be good here, I think, to end the fight. I think. Actually, my math might be a little off. Uh, if I, I need to draw. Well, I didn't draw an attack here. Um, Void Dream. There's the one intangibility I need. So they're dead. They're going to kill themselves, but did not get the perfect leg I wanted. Next potion's fine. Uh, adrenaline is definitely good. Are you still shy today? Um, die in the hands of like me. Here's my curse. I would love this curse as a blessing. Let's try that one. And we're up to 100 again. Uh, da dum dum. No two orb slots. Play a power channel, a random ore at the start of turn three. Oh, at the start of your turn for. Uh. Hmm. We're in a weakness build. I don't really want statuses. It's like a discard one. I'm going to take the skill book. It's not that great. But if we get more powers, they'd be good, I guess. Um, Continue to the city. Ooh, we got the, the deck of drawn up here. Okay. Kind of leaning this way, but let's look. Ooh, this has a bunch of rests. I could get one elite if I wanted it. That's three rests in a shop. This one has two rest. No, oh, it has three. Okay, I'm still going to go up this right side then. Early shop seems a little bit nicer here. Why are we confused? Okay, we were... Nope, still confused. Shivs were added after the fact. Huh. It must have been that last card I added. We start with confusion. I don't like that. Is it for one turn or is it permanent? It looks like it's permanent. And that very much is not great for me. Yeah. Um, I do this. Draw some cards. Yeah, I'm going to have to remove that at the next shot. I'll, I'll check it before we remove it, but yeah. Oh, man. Yep, I'm just gonna end here. Okay, neutralize. Not bad. There's Hidden Blade. Infinite Blade. Okay. Defend 15 here. That did nothing. Okay. Or get exhausted. Oh, there's channeling. I don't know what power we got played, but... Deal two. Defend again. Get a lot of dazes here, but we have the two frost, so... Actually kind of okay with that. Give Survivor this card away, I guess. Okay. Give. Right. Cool. Ooh, we got the water. Water for... Uh, cloak and dagger. Then I want to. Um, even if this is my card, all of the curses being. Yes, this is the one I want to look at. Sorry, just combat confused. Yep, not what I want. Well, your hands cost one less. 
Okay. Uh, mark four random cards. Play a mark card to remove the mark. Have a dark blue go while in hand. I don't know what that means though. I still don't think I want the giant mushroom. Unfortunately. I think I probably will still remove it. Duplicate all cards in our deck. Hmm. I think I'll duplicate a card. I did think about it though. Even though the black's one. I like the thorns a lot. Okay. We got 310. Do a pretty good amount of stuff here. What is this tin foil? Tin to upgrade a card. Reward tins to upgrade a card of higher rarity. Doesn't matter. Whetstone. Okay, first. I'm sorry, mushroom. You do not fit in the build we're doing. I will keep you in mind in the future. Uh, there's choke, which we wanted. Go ahead and upgrade whetstone. Very nice. There we go. That's pretty good. Pretty good little shop. All right. Backstab, shiv, shiv. Okay, uh, bathtub. And then we want infinite blades. And let's just draw some more. There's the neutralize. And we're down into his normal uh, hit points. Okay. Shiv, fragment, sucker punch, strike. Take a little bit, and he is definitely dead. Oh, the, yeah, the Dark Orb came over. Which, so I'm assuming the Black Swans are considered powers, which is nice for me. Um, an upgraded backflip is good. There's Giant Mushroom, which I do not want. Uh, Fairy's Care, I think, is another healing one. Runic Akasahedron, let's take it. Let's smith a card. Let's get Infinite Blades. Actually, let's get Neutralize upgraded. Infinite Blades isn't specifically necessary, and I don't need it to be innate, because our opening hand is already pretty full. Okay. Hit you. Hit you. Hit you. Hit you. Um, go ahead and play the infinite. Backflip here. There's the other thorns. Okay. Um, that was a block card. They're infinite. Okay. That's fine. A little bit weird, but I'm, I'm kind of about it. Get them, boys. That's fine. Ooh, you are not happy. You're also weak now, so. Kind of ignoring his little boys. Oh, let's go ahead and roll this. Five, gain five weak. It doesn't play around on that either. Ooh, it's gonna hurt. But, yeah, he's gonna also hurt himself. A pretty good bit. Ooh, this is a good one. Bloodbath for the healing. I need us to look at that one to double check, like, how bad is it really for us? I don't think it's very good. Like, I think that it goes down and eventually might start hurting us. Or is what I'm kind of afraid of. Also, why are you doing so much damage? You need to get out of here. Oh, I do not. I cannot kill them. I mean, they're going to kill themselves, but actually do that. And then we'll hit him. I cannot take 28 damage here. And he's dead. Perfect. They all run away. We're, we're banking right now a little less than 100 bucket each time. Mm, I'm going to skip again. I'm pretty happy with our setup currently. Um, Force Shards could protect us from some nonsense that the... Uh, Lobotomy card give to us. Uh, draw three cards here is good. Got a pretty good draw engine going. I think the real thing we just need is more. Another payoff. Every time we play a power, gain shielding. Well, to three times its cost. That actually will probably trigger a lot. Because some of these cards are considered powers. Ooh, Violet Noon. Uh, only weak actions are hard upon. Okay. So this is one we haven't seen yet. 100 gold. Where's the creature at? Um, okay. Oh, there it is. So, interesting. 
Okay, let's do this. This is gonna be a good turn, though. Uh, why are we taking damage? Oh, is it just hit us the longer we're in the fight? I don't like this. I don't work as well under pressure. <laughs> in between turns. Okay, something was exhausted. He took 20 damage. Bloodbath, defend, div, in turn. Okay. Oh, he, he's exhausting a ton of my cards. Uh, do this. We're getting low on health. And again. Okay. Soul burn's done. He's down to 20. He's freaking out. Okay, leg sweep again for block. Uh, there's the backstab. Uh, sh you're dead. <laughs> oh, that was that was a weird one. Okay, so I think my only downside and the only thing I dislike so far is I wish you could hover over the enemy's text and it tell you what they do. Okay, I've fallen to the lowest bar. Save us now and forever the truth. The tree reap what it was sowed from. Let's buy that. Giant Tree Sap gains 6 regen, has a chance to reduce your max HP by 15 when you activate it on consecutive uses and resets when the effect is triggered. Interesting. So we can gain some regen. Not bad. I'm not going to take another one of these. We are on low HP. Accuracy is pretty good. I just need a rest now. Sure, we'll transform our card. Um, defend. Masterful stab is not great. Not great for us. <sighs> Need to take a sip of coffee. Keep my brain going this morning. Valuable. Okay. Backstab. Alright, we're not going to be able to hurt him that much specifically. Because the way malleable works. You know, like alternate on different damaging cards, yeah. Jibs are not as good against the uh, snake plant. Go ahead and roll this. I'm waiting for that natural one. Um, oh, these are terrible. I'll do fission just for no reason. Jib. Fission here. Just energy. Okay. Strike. Play some cards. Jibs. Um, put an adrenaline first. There's Black Swan. Okay. Pretty alright with that. Um, let's do that. And Blade. Ooh, Accuracy. Oh, I can't choke and then... Oh, it's such a waste. I choke for one shiv here. One more energy would have been really good. But I mean, they're hurting themselves, so it doesn't matter too much. Okay, we're on 3-6. Bag of Tricks. Oh, they've changed the art on this, and I still very much like it. Uh, Magical Girl. Let's take that. I thought we had seen that one. Um, so you kind of need to upgrade them more than once to get that. So let's let's see what some of these things do. Magical Girl. Yep. Let's unlock it permanently. I guess you have to fully unlock it to continue seeing it. The effectiveness of this card is half in a card. When the card is above one. When drawing a card, draw all of the cards. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see this one. Boop. Unlock. Heal one HP. What's its next effect? After playing this card, heal one HP at the end of every turn. If you play another abnormality while this card is active, remove the effect and deal 20 damage to yourself. If I play it. Okay. That makes sense now. I get why that does that. Uh, let's look at this one. Six block. Beauty and the Beast. This card gains exhaust after playing it. That's fine. This card exhausts. When this card exhausts, a random card becomes a copy of this card. Oh, interesting. I like that too. Okay. I mean, most of our deck is like, we're getting all these upgrades finally down. And like, I see how there can be different synergies between them. Okay. So I don't really need, well, I want to heal. So 
we just need to make it a point this combat not to um, play any other abnormality cards. Which I actually don't play that many of them. Like the the Dream of the Black Swan kind of does it on its own. Cost uh, one additional each time you lose your HP this combat. We have not lost none because it's turn one. Dice roll, 15. Fine. I don't want to play the Fragment of the Universe. No Void, Infinite Blade. So we pretty much need to win the fight on our own volition, which is fine. And but and with that we will get some extra extra da uh extra healing this turn, which is nice. Give cloak and dagger. Okay, blade dance. Like a teeny bit of a teeny bit of region. Reward. No, I don't wanna I, I wanna gain continue gaining like we are. Another hidden blade. Actually, I think I take a white noise because that works really well with duck. Also, um, yeah, yeah. I think I want the accuracy to deal more damage. We are a very shiv heavy deck. All right, mysterious rune. You, if I remember right, are very not fun. All right, vigor's off. Continue hitting you. I think you do some weird things. I don't. I need to double check. Neutralize here. Um. Remind me what you do, magical girl. You heal. Heal and damage. If you play less than three cards in a single turn, increase the cost of this card by one. Um, I think this card is half while the cost cards above one. Okay. So I can play it now for, for full effect. I think I'd rather hidden blades here and continue getting some damage on this rune. All right, now he has his effect. He has a spect. After I spilled 12 energy, heal 20 and gain 3 strength. Uh, let's do this. Natural 1. Of course. Not surprised. We actually want to discard this one. Uh, discarding the natural 1 would not have helped. Um, whenever... I don't know if I need this. Yeah. I do not need to play Beauty and the Beast yet. It would exhaust a card and copy it. Uh, Leg Sweep here is pretty good. Got an Adrenaline also. Another Black Swan. Let's cloak and dagger here for the shifts. Hidden blade, more shifts. There's that white noise. There's infinite blades. Let's white noise first. Caltrops. Actually super good. And we'll do that. Now we're kind of kind of set up here. Rune Pyramid. Okay. Retain. Do I want... I don't think I need the Fairy Festival yet. I think we're in that bad of a situation. And yes, I said situation, not situation. I know how to word good. Okay. Deck is full of rune pyramids. Gotta keep that in mind. Masterful stab. Very nice. 11 coming in. We're fully blocked, but I don't want to take that for granted. Draw three. Four shivs. Poison. Yeah. Let's play Bag of Tricks. Oh, uh, I don't want to... Um, I want to keep my shielding, so let's do this. Three energy next turn. Add four chips to my hand. I normally would have preferred to do the card draw. However, my hand's too full. Yeah, these retains and are just filling up my hand. Insane, like an insane amount. Uh, whenever you play card, yeah. Choke. Give. I think we're good here. Defend. Rune Pyramid. Rune Pyramid. Get them out of my deck. Twelve. We're fully blocked. And honestly, the fire this time, these actually, this defix skill book has not been bad for us. Uh, these are better than the spiked energy drink. And, uh, 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 machine learning's fine. I, I don't have a problem with it. Our unbearable sorrows grew long, mournful hair over time. Fury and full sorrow. We'll try that one. And I'm actually going to go ahead and upgrade it. Make sure it's not going to mess up the run. Boop. Ooh, and it is a rare. That's what I also wanted to know. Are these ones rares? Because each time you exhaust a card, gain one strength and heal one. Uh, every three cards you exhaust, increase the cost of this card by one. Three cards I exhaust. A maximum of four. 
I can't look at it any farther. So, interesting. Uh, we ex exhaust a million cards, so that could be very good. It also could be bad. Uh, Ring of Chaos. I don't know how that's going to work with all this. Uh, the first time you discard a card each turn, get one energy. Actually, totally fine. No negatives, so that's what I'm kind of going for here. Okay. Early shop could be good. Ooh, there's a good crest mark path. Beats. Yeah. That's the path I want. Hello, my darkling friends. Oh, there's a lot of good stuff this one. Okay. Get the one in the back first. Don't have joke yet. But let's... I would like to see if I can get to it. So let's play this. Adrenaline here. We do not. We just get thorns. That's fine too, though. Oh, I, I kind of want to divide up my cards. Hmm. I thought I would have to play this one, but I didn't play it yet. But I'm gaining strength every time I exhaust a card. Hopefully that does not come back to haunt me yet. I'm worried about. Okay. I played one more defend there, but it's fine. Okay. Accuracy. This is going to be another big turn. Oh, but there's the natural one to really, really ruin my turn. I'm actually going to have to drink the energy potion. I cannot let the turn end that way, I don't think. Not be very good. Eight strength already. All right. Honey. Um, yeah. That's very good. I need to figure out what the rest of it does, though. But I'm kind of worried it, it's going to have some, like, super negative side effect. Like, if you exhaust 100 cards in, in, a, um, in a combat, you lose the combat. It's higher than run reduced. Reduced is cost by one when playing game. Okay. Uncontrol. If the cost of this card is higher than one, deal damage to yourself based on its cost. Four damage at two, ten damage at three, fifty damage at, f at four cost. Huh, okay. Is that when I draw? And uncontrollable is when I draw it, right? When drawn. So, yeah, I'm going to take a ton of damage if I ever draw the card. Okay. Nice to know. I need to end the fight before that point. Because I can't not exhaust cards. Um, upgrade a card. Machine learning would become innate. Damage. Let's just do Sucker Punch. It's too weak. Yeah, I feel like we're, we're going to have some issues at some point. Uh, the next time you play every unique playable card in your deck, I'm going to add a rare relic. That combat's reward. Now, uh, another Blade Dance would be very good. Mega Prep's also good. Mega Prep, Blade Dance. Let's remove... I'm almost tempted to remove the Mountain of Smiling Bodies, but we're gonna let it play. We're gonna let it stick for a little bit longer. It, it's definitely interesting. I kind of want to try to fight the shopkeep too. I want to kind of want to steal the rug. But there's not. If there was more stuff here that I wanted, I would actually do it. But since there's not, we'll continue. Oh, food chain, amber dusk. This was in Valparaiso. We also have this region here if we need to. Okay, um, 200. We might just be able to end them before they get to attack. It's going to be my goal. White noise, five. Caster played. Okay. Because we're, yeah, we're gaining so much strength every turn. Natural one. Ends the turn. And I am going to go ahead and play Fairy Dream Festival. I don't know what this thing does. He has negative a ton. Oh, another, there's another, oh my goodness gracious, what in the world is going on here? Okay, uh, intangibility. Survivor. Drop this one. Go ahead and hit him, and hit him. He makes little bugs. Which is interesting. Yep, and they're hurting themselves. There's also one off screen, I think. 
A master, we did take one damage. Masterful stab, backflip here. Bag of tricks. Ten block. Oh, I didn't. I should have done this. Well, ten blocks fine. I'm just worried we're gonna draw the face. Cause I bet it's at four already. It'll be fifty damage. It would kill us if we draw that. I think. Okay, we did not. But I think we're definitely drawing it next turn. Seventy. Oh, I definitely need to hit them, but I can't hit them. Uh, region. Where's the other one? Oh, what? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> I didn't know that was gonna happen. I would have done this much differently. Um, weird. Okay. 13. I just need, like, the tiniest amount of damage to kill you. How much does choke doing? 5. I'm, like, 2 cards short. Actually, 8. When he hits me, he will die. I think. Oh, interesting. He healed at some point. Oh, don't take 50. Come on. Uh, uh, oh, okay. We didn't, we didn't get it. He is dead. The bugs are not dead, though. So you have to kill all bugs. I think one is out of screen. Yes. One is out of screen, and I cannot see them. Cool. I don't know how this is going to work, because I, I can't do the thing. Uh, this is 20 damage to all enemies. That's fine. We, we, ha we took some damage from our fairy chain, but that's fine. Um, the first chapter ends. The sin is born again. Let's try that one. Your your hand, uh, you have no maximum hand size. If you lose more than 60 HP in a single combat, you die. Oh. Right click to toggle. Replace the current boss of the beyond to random boss from the midnight ordeal. Uh, I don't want any more of that. Uh, a leap would be good here. This is a good defensive card. Also, let's continue reading down the path of our uh, Midnight Smiling Fountain. Oh, no, we did. We got all of it. There's a couple I didn't think we had finished yet. We got that one. Fairy Festival we got. One we did. Uh, was it Void? Get out, get out of here. Oh, okay, uh, when you play this card, a random card gains Ethereal. Okay. Bloodbath, did we finish you? If three cards are exhausted under the effect of this card, uh, playing this card randomly exhausts another card and resets the healing value of this card. Okay. And you are at the start of combat game one artifacting. That's fine. Comes in, whenever this card, this card exhausts, become confused. Oh, huh. interesting. Okay. I think we've got everything upgraded now, which is pretty snazzy if I do say so myself. Ma writhing mass how you doing natural one in the first hand but we have no hand size anymore which is very cool very bad and very scary because <laughs> if we can continue like grabbing like blade dances and stuff our strength will just should just continue getting bigger uh four ships is what i want and like right now this thing's getting the problem is this thing gains healing every time we play a card Terror, Hidden Blades, uh, 26, 18, Learning, okay. Ow. Okay, uh, Infinite, Choke, Waste of, Waste of uh, a move. I should have played like Sweep. I'm gonna take a bunch of damage from that. Okay. Play Dance. Oh, 28 damage. Perfect. Uh, the Hollowed Weather Knight. I actually really like that one. Um, another leap is fine. I kind of want the deck to be big just so we don't see cards that we don't want to see. And then let's go ahead and upgrade this one. Now this card is Plague Gain a Blessing. 50% uh, more block. While under the effect of the Blessing, lose 5 HP whenever you do not block an enemy's attack. That's what that was. This card is exhausted. The blessing is removed. Okay. That's actually totally a respectable effect. 
Oh, Nemesis, you're gonna have a bad day. Because you're not intangible at the start of the fight. Okay, so here's this one. I need to remember, when we play it, it resets the effect. Isn't that what it was? I wish I could write. These texts are long. Increase, every three cards you exhaust, increase the cost of this card by one. If the cost cost is higher than one, reduce the cost when playing it. Oh, buy one when playing it. I want to play it and get it out into the discard first. For sure. Before it increases too much in cost. Um, machine learning here. Adrenaline. This one actually isn't as explosive of a hand as some of the other ones. Backflip. Natural one ends the turn. But it goes into the discard now. Okay. Terror here is good. But he is intangible. <clears throat> which does kind of suck. Really need to focus on my defense here. If I can get something. There's the weakness. That's what we need. Still doing 33 damage to me though. Which is kind of... Kind of poo-poo garbage. But at the same time... It's fine. We'll gain the healing and focus on that. Ooh. I'm not even like vulnerable or anything. Okay. I think he's dead here though. All right, noise, creative AI. Yeah, I just need to play the cards. Not rem like matter what to do. Oh, he's just dead from taking damage. Not enemies with 25% or less health are weak. That's actually totally fine. Uh, I think I want the adrenaline more. As well, truly can hit anyone you say. That sounds pretty cool. We'll look at it. Uh, footwork is just good. Claw also could have been a good one, but I don't think we're going to cycle. Our deck's a little too big to cycle through. Right click to spend 10% of your max gold, at least into fire eye bullet. Current count zero. A bullet deals 18 damage, cannot be increased in, uh, to an enemy. Increase the count by one after firing a bullet. The seventh bullet deals the same amount of damage to yourself. Oh, it's based on that seventh bullet. Well, the seventh bullet relic is probably based on that effect. Continue, lose. Oh, four surge, unfortunately. We start with one artifacting anyway, so. Okay. Um, I guess I'll make machine learning in eight. Went the, a little bit the wrong way. That's fine. I, I should I was going for that elite, but at the end we'll, we'll get some more upgrades and it'll all be good. Okay. Darklings again. Can we kill them in one turn is the question. Man, our opening hand is like nonsense. Okay, let's do this. Uh, cloak and dagger here. Nah, let's play these ones. Nine. Um, and blades. Uh, and yeah, we'll kill you. Just so I don't take damage from the effect of my knighthood. Okay. Spend 10% of your max gold. But I have to spend it, and that's what I don't like. I'd rather just continue playing the... Actually doing the gold. And I'm actually going to take damage. Let's just use the potion. There we go. Uh, Queen of Magical Girls, 19 damage. I really needed, actually just needed block. Seven here. I mean, I, could, I guess I could have spent that. Actually, it didn't matter. Uh, Jev, strike, two while. Below Q, Dex. Oh, Darkling. I feel like I need more attacks on the deck. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> Ends up not mattering at the very end. Ooh, flex potions would be very good. Um, Reduce to Ash like me. We'll see what that one does. Tactician, no. Self repair is good just in case I need some healing. Uh. This one. Deal 20 damage to all enemies. Increase the damage dealt by this card by one for each card in your hand. And this is ethereal. Increase the damage dealt by this card for each card in your hand. Okay. Well, this card, when this cost, card is exhausted, deal 30 damage to myself. So, you always want to play it. 
that's fine. And our hands are pretty big. If we get a lot in like an opening turn, it'd actually be pretty devastating. Chemical X would be fun. Happy Flower is actually great. Animal Gear, yeah. So let's try this. Oh, I forget he sucks butt on the first turn because you can't can't just knock him out on the first turn. If combat's ended and you have to start with him fresh on turn two. Ooh, that screen shake though. 200. That's still not bad, but a lot of our power cards are gone. Knight, cloak and dagger. Hit him a bunch here. Neutralize. Backflip for 12. We are good here. Accuracy. Oh, you suck. Those are the trade. Okay. Did lose a lot of value there, but fine. I haven't hit him, but we're gaining strength. Oh, if we get some. Oh, there's Magical Girl. Choose a card to discard. Please leave. Um, so Scorched is first, definitely. Right? Oh man, this is a hard one. No, it's not, unfortunately. It's actually... Choke. Shiv. I wish I had one more energy would be the best here. I think we're going to take some a sizable amount of damage, but I think we can do a lot more damage to him. As well. Oh, no, we have one more energy here. A bag of tricks. Give me four more shivs. And if I take 15, that's fine. Oh, the choke didn't go through because of his... I didn't think about that. Okay, take 15, and plus the Scorch is going to deal a ton to me. Ow. I mean, he's also taking the damage, but... Okay. I don't know what the random effects that killed me were, but... I mean, I knew some things were doing effects to me, but I didn't... This deal would, was going to deal 5 to me, but that's not... I guess it stacked for every coin was a cons like a consistent five from Night of Despair. So I did five, 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 like ten times. Hmm. I didn't expect it to go that way, but I still think we did pretty good. A lot of learning done here, and we made it much farther this time. I'm starting to get the synergy behind the cards. Um, but that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.